Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for the weekend of May 23rd, 24th, 25th, and Memorial Day the 26th, 2014. I'm Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Next week on Friday, I am doing my June 2014 webinar. I'm going to go deep into this Mercury retrograde, the Mars energy, which is going to really start to come back, and more importantly, Jupiter and all the gifts that we're going to get. Wow, this is definitely a live event you're not going to want to miss. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. Click on the registration, and you can join us next week for this live presentation. And we are having a big weekend with a lot of stimulation, a lot of excitement. The moon is going to be in Aries through this weekend about our strength, about getting things going around this dynamic fire energy. And when you add that to a new sun in Gemini, which is all about air and intellect and moving things and changing things, wow, lots of fire, lots of things happening, lots of heat through this weekend. And we're going to talk really deep about this heat. We have stepped into Gemini and there's a lot of questions on our table right now, especially with Mars that has gone direct in directions that we're taking and Mars is starting to try and get moving, you know, it's been at like these little minutes, so it hasn't really pushed forward yet. And this weekend we start to see Mars move, we see the moon come into Mars ruled Aries, and there's a lot around action, there's a lot around this fire. And making sure we don't burn out, this is gonna be the first time in months since we've had a lot of intense energy come, so make sure you don't burn out. The lesson is to stay balanced because we do have a north node in Libra, we have Mars in Libra, but that moon is gonna to wanna to pull and oppose all that energy and go, no, we wanna make things happen. No, we wanna have fun. Especially because Uranus is in Aries and the moon's gonna hump over this and wow, this could be a lightning bolt of energy this weekend on electricity. So Saturday, that's gonna come. But before we get there, you know, this moon in Aries is gonna be making a nice sextile over to the sun. And I think as we come into the weekend on Friday, bam, we're ready to move. We're ready to make things happen. We're feeling like there's strength back in our life. We're feeling like we're clear. That's because Mercury and Venus are still in a nice sextile. Mercury has also now entered a shadow period, which means that Mercury is gonna go retrograde in this spot. So the events that start this weekend are definitely things in events and spiritual, you know, lessons that are going to be humped back over with our mind. So this means this is also some karmic stuff starting to happen here this weekend. Also around relationships because Venus is now getting closer to the south node. So the energy around karma, the energy around destiny and relationship energies is starting to get really powerful. So this is a really exciting weekend, I'll be honest, because the fire's there, but are you going to burn out? And maybe this also this weekend will help you start to identify with more of what you want in your life. Sometimes it takes some fire and some edge and some passion and some, some, some excitement in our lives to get us to know where we want to go next. And I think this weekend is about highlighting that. On top of all that, Jupiter is trining Saturn. And this is exact happening Friday and Saturday. So believe this or not, I think that we see once this fire kicks up this weekend, I think we understand emotionally the things we're gonna build. We could be excited now that there's these things on our plate now that we can go manifest. I'm telling you, this is a really kick-ass weekend. Now, we're getting prepared for Venus to leave Aries, Mercury to leave Gemini, and it's all gonna happen with this new moon that will come on Wednesday. So we're building up towards a new moon. And there's a lot of stimulation happening this weekend, but it will kind of die out around Monday when the moon was in Taurus, and things kind of slow down and we get prepared for this new moon midweek next week. So really look at Friday, Saturday, Sunday as the passion, the fire, and the lessons I think around are not burning yourself out or not drawing from the energy too hard or not pulling your ego too much, learning to find partnership, learning to be fair, learning to share a little bit this weekend, learning to experience harmony. If arguments come up or fights or things, finding how to emotionally let go because this is going to be the moon opposed Mars Friday night into Saturday. I mean, there's a lot of energy around like, all right, we're ready to go and uh, learning how to use it properly, learning how to also communicate clearly, especially when our passions are revved up. How are we going to communicate this weekend, especially around relationships? Are we going to jump into things or are we going to look at what is the right kind of more balanced, more just road? So there's a lot around this stuff. And if you just look around the astrology, I mean, Jupiter trying Saturn is 
this big understanding of knowing our truth, of knowing maybe what we want to dedicate and build in our life. So all around the astrology, I just see nothing but a power-packed weekend. Monday will be more, you know, chill and, 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 and sitting into things and, and starting to reflect on, especially as Mars starts to go here, this big understanding where we're going. So this Memorial Day, I think, will be mellow and chill but I think it will be powerful in knowing what we're gonna be manifesting. So the card of the weekend is, wow, this is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. This can be about using our skill sets. This is lessons in our life reversed. Remember the lessons we've gone through. One thing about this weekend is, I'm just gonna put it out there, don't be the fool. You know, it's like the second some excitement comes in your life, don't be out there blah, 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 and like falling over and losing yourself. There's been a lot of lessons you've learned and it's not to forget those or throw those away the second that the party starts back up, the second that the fire comes back in our lives. You know, use your lessons this weekend. Be practical, but at the same time, remember that you can build amazing things with this card. You can build amazing, amazing things in your life now. And I think it's important to not forget those or throw those out the window the second a new kind of energy comes in. Because I guarantee you, you will feel a new energy this weekend. There will be a spark. And it's about if you're identifying with your life correctly. And I think you need to remember what tools you have and if they're even being used. And to sit in those. You know, this is definitely a very powerful time of new change coming, of powerful new directions that are really gonna be positive. And I think it's important for you to understand the calling of where to take your life and to understand that the work is still got to be there though. That you can have fun and work. And part of that work is staying in your high vibration and channeling spirit and listening to the signs of your life. It's just a very beautiful and excellent weekend. And I want to say very, you know, that you have the best weekend ever. And I want to wish you the best weekend. And thank you so much for watching me. And I appreciate you with all my heart. And I think that this could be a weekend that really starts to show you what you can have and also what you can share. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one reading, thank you so much for all your support and I will see you next week on Tuesday.